the first piano concerto I ever studied was the F major concerto K459. I was perhaps 11 or 12 years old at the time. And I have no hesitation in confessing that, that uh, I didn't get these pieces as a teenager. Um, it really wasn't until, uh, I suppose, in my late teens or early 20s that I suddenly began to see them as the incredible dramas, as operas without words. An actually incredibly important turning point in my musical life was the opportunity to lead one of these concertos from the keyboard, which happened almost entirely by chance. I was actually uh, playing at the Oregon Bach Festival and I was doing the G major concerto, Kirschel 453, the 17th concerto, which is one of the most operatic of all. And uh, the concertmaster of the orchestra, a very dear friend of mine who had traditionally led this program each year at this festival, said, you know, you know this piece better than I do, why don't you lead it from the keyboard? And I had never done such a thing, I'd thought about it before. It was almost 30 years ago now, and it was a, an extraordinary moment because it was the first time that I understood that there was the possibility of interacting with an orchestra as an instrumentalist, as a soloist, as a leader, as a partner. And over the years, uh, I played, began to play more and more of these pieces, and, and a few years ago had the mad idea of doing all of them. Um, and it's been one of the most deeply moving things because I think this, this music, it's often operatic, but I think it's also Shakespearean in a certain way in terms of the delineation of character, the understanding of the most subtle uh, aspects of human experience and Mozart's ability to, uh, to get that across with the most subtle strokes of, of the pen is just uncanny.